Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Stacy, and today I am going to read Farmyard Flyers by Mark Bostock. On Flippity Farm, Farmer Jolly's jobs were in a muddle. One by one, the animals began to notice. Pig looked up from his aeroplane story. Where's my straw, he said, peering at his lemonade. Hey, honked the geese, who shut the gate? Over in the meadow, no one fetched sheep. This just won't do, she sighed. Cow shook her head. This isn't my dinner, she huffed. Nope, sirree. But Farmer Jolly didn't notice. He was too tired. That night, Pig couldn't sleep. He read his book. He counted stars. Then he heard a noise from inside the big red barn. There it goes again, he said. He'd heard the noise before. Tap, tap, tap. Pig peeped through a gap in the boards. Farmer Jolly was busy fixing something. So that's why he's tired, said Pig. Early next morning, Pig gathered the other animals. Farmer Jolly needs help, he said, and I've got a plan. Under the shady sycamore tree, Pig drew in the mud with a pointy stick. When everyone knew what to do, Cow scuffed the drawing out with her feet. Keep it secret, whispered Sheep. Yep, sirree, nodded Cow. As the sun came up, Pig rolled into action. From the payphone by the bridge on Crimson Creek, he dialed Farmer Jolly's number. Hello, said Pig, disguising his voice. Urgent, goose loose, far side of Flippity Farm. Goose loose, yawned sleepy Farmer Jolly. I'll be right there. He put down his tools and jumped straight onto his tractor. It worked, giggled the animals. As soon as Farmer Jolly was out of sight, they scooted up the hill to see what he'd been fixing in the big red barn. They poked their heads round the big barn door. It's an aeroplane, said Pig. Let's get busy, said Pig. If we fix it, the jobs won't be in a muddle anymore. Good plan, said Sheep. Yep, sirree, nodded Cow. Pig read the instructions. And he sawed while the geese glued. And Cow patched and Sheep painted. Until Farmer Jolly's aeroplane was fixed and ready to fly. Pig was excited. Coming for a spin, he called. They all piled in and Pig revved the engine. It looked easier in my book, he yelled, as they wobbled and weaved. Oh, sirree, said Cow, as they spluttered and juddered. Quack, squawked the ducks as the plane splashed into the pond. 
When Farmer Jolly came back from his wild goose chase, he couldn't believe his eyes. Sorry, said a very soggy pig. I'd better have a look, sighed Farmer Jolly. He got back on his tractor and pulled the aeroplane out of the pond. He patted the wings and tapped the wheels and looked into the cockpit. You should have asked before you took it, he said. But you've done a very good job. Thank you, and now I really must go to sleep. Pig had a think about what Farmer Jolly had said. Then he came up with one last plan. He fetched sheep from the meadow and opened the gate for the geese. He gave cow the right dinner and found a straw for his lemonade all by himself. When he woke, none of Farmer Jolly's jobs were in a muddle. He was delighted. What a wonderful surprise, he said. I didn't think we would be ready in time. Ready in time for what? asked Pig. Aha, said Farmer Jolly. Now I have a surprise for you. Jump in. And as a special treat, Farmer Jolly flew all the animals to the air show on Morgan's Field. Hold tight, he said. And together, the farmyard flyers looped the loop high above the cheering crowd. Whee, said Pig. Everyone agreed it was the best flying display they had ever seen. The judges clapped and gave a standing ovation. Farmer Jolly wins first prize, they said. Woohoo, said the animals. As they flew home to Flippity Farm, Farmer Jolly let Pig take the controls. Hold her steady now, he said. It took a while for Pig to answer. I can do it, he said quietly. I can really fly. I hope you all enjoyed this fantastic book. Bye, everybody. Bye.